Yes, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is the Claret's Daily News here on Turfcast with me, Joe Redmond. Now, it is a little bit quiet at the minute, so this one might be the first one ever that doesn't get to eight minutes, but you know me, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll pad it out, I'll find something. But yeah, not much around at the minute in terms of uh, potential rumours of incomings, outgoings, nothing that we don't already know about anyway. Obviously, the main news yesterday in regards to Burnley Football Club was the fact that the new shirt is now out. The club released it at 3pm yesterday. And um, yeah, it's, it's kind of got mixed reviews. I quite like the shirt personally. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I, I think it's okay. I think it's better than last season's for a start. I thought last season's was a little bit underwhelming, a little bit plain. At least this time, they've actually tried to do something with it because in the fabric, it's not just claret. It's obviously got different shades and within that is writing of the long side. I said yesterday, then on, on yesterday's show, that there was something to do with the long side, whatever that meant. They kept the club kept hinting to it through their own website and through Liam uh, Waddington, or otherwise known as Visa. So I, I did wonder what that was about, but that's what it is. The word long side is written into the fabric. I, I, I don't mind that. I like the fact that they've tried to do something different. They've tried to play around with it. And they've tried to, you know, bring something that means something to Burnley fans in there. And, and that I, I, I give credit to. Like I said, it's it's been mixed reviews. I, th I think the I think the majority of people have actually been quite positive. Like I did put something out yesterday on Turfcast where I said rate Burnley's new shirt out of ten. Uh, Andrew Greaves, who obviously also does uh, well helps out with the BLM podcast. He's part of that crew. He said a very solid seven. I'd probably agree with that. It's probably around six and a half, seven for me. Seven and a half somewhere around there. Uh, then you got Tom O'Clara. He said six out of ten. Graham Cotton. Um, he says 10, Corey says 7, uh, Jimmy the Claret says 7, I think a lot of them are around there, around your 7, like it's on the decent side but not well smart, I think I think that's where I fall, uh, obviously some people, like I said it was mixed reviews, uh, you've got James Hayworth who says I'm underwhelmed, it's a 3 for me, Luke Snowden says 3 out of 10, uh, Richard Hardcastle said 5, uh, Leemsky Kurt, oh, sorry, Kurt Leeming, I don't know why he's put his name like that on, on Twitter, it's just confusing me, mate. Uh, he says 4, um, Matthew Burrows, he's very happy with it, a uh, good solid 9. John Merlin, though, only says a half, it's very, very harsh, that one. Uh, James Jimberline says socks and shirts had a good look to it, to be fair, with the BFC, and it's a nine for him. So, yeah, I agree. Around the seven mark for me, I quite like that. But the main news surrounding the Burner shirt is it is, for the first time, going to be available without a sponsor. So you can buy it from the club shop or the, you know, the, the, the website without a sponsor. Obviously, last year, a lot of people paid for uh, an independent guy. I can't remember exactly what, what his title was or what, what, what it is the process is called, but he basically removed the W88 for some people. Some people had it done. You can get it done professionally, and he did that. And the club started out by saying, yeah, we advise you not to do that, uh, but you can buy the shirt this year without the sponsor. I think... I'll be buying it with the sponsor for me personally, because number one, I don't particularly mind a betting firm. I don't. I'm not one of these people that, you know, hates them. I understand the issues surrounding it and understand why people would not like them and don't like the club being with them. Um, but I think without it, it just looks like a training top for me. What annoys me, I'll be honest though, about that sponsor is that yellow nine. That annoys me. If 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 they'd have made the nine white just like the six and the website underneath it it'd look much better my main two negatives with the shirt are number one what i've just told you about the 96 should all be one color and the club crest on it that's not our traditional club crest our club crest has more colors in it than that and that's i think lets it down i think lets it down for me i think it should be the traditional club crest with the blue in it and the yellow you know all the other colors i think it would look better and also if you look at the, the picture of the, apologies, I don't know who the, the, the woman is wearing it, but if you look at the pictures of the, the woman wearing the shirt, I feel like the crest is just sort of like too far to one side and too high up. It kind of looks like it's in the wrong place. Um, but yeah, for me, if it was the, the proper crest and not the monochrome one and the 96.com was all one colour, I think I'd like it a lot more than I do. But, um, but yeah, they're just kind of like minor things, I think, for me. I think overall, uh, I'm quite a fan of that shirt and I, and I will definitely be buying it. Uh, in terms of prices, the club have revealed that the shirt will cost £60. So 
gone are the days of £40 football shirts now and it's not like we're a big enough club as well to get it off DH Gate or something like that like a lot of people do if you aren't aware of DH Gate uh, look it up but you won't be able to get a Burnley shirt on there we're not big enough um, so it, 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 if you want it it's going to cost you 60 quid basically um, so your shirts are 60 quid your shorts are 28 and your socks are 15s I mean I can't say I've bought shorts or socks since I was about 15 so that's not going to bother me but I, I believe they are Got, they've gone up as well. I might be wrong. Like I said, I don't buy them. Um, only issue is for me is the junior shirts. Now, a junior shirt is now 50 quid. 50 quid for a, a, a junior shirt. I, I just find that staggering. That, that to me, is is, is worse than the, the 60 quid for the adult shirt. Uh, and then, obviously, juniors get the full kit. It's like my little lad is six. I will 100% be getting in the full kit. Um, but that's going to cost me. So you've got 50 quid for the shirt. And you've got 24 for the shorts. I need to do some quick maths here. Um, that's 74 quid, isn't it? Yeah, 74 quid. Uh, and then for the socks, it's an extra 13. So that's what? 84, 5, 6, 87 quid. 87 quid it's going to cost me to get my six-year-old a full Burnley kit. I get it. It's the going rate these days, and I'm not criticising Burnley Football Club too much. I do think we should have maybe tried to make an example, but again, I understand that it cost them, but it can't cost them that much. Um, but yeah, disappointed um, that it's going to be that much, but don't really blame the club. It is what it is. But yeah, my thoughts on the shirt. I said I'd do a separate video on the shirts, and I probably will do when I actually buy them and I have them, and, and I can give you all a close look at what they look like. Um, but with it just being a very quiet day in regards to news, I thought I'd, I'd just bring a lot of chat about the actual shirt into this so I can push it up to eight minutes and we're already nearly there, so I'm definitely going to get it. But yeah, uh, the main news yesterday for me was the shirt um, and the fact that it came out to mix reviews. Obviously, last night was massive. If you're an England football fan, free lines on a shirt. Come on, it's coming home. I hope, probably isn't to be fair. Um, don't worry, I'm not going to start waxing lyrical about Gareth Southgate's boys um, if you're not an English claret. But the flip side of that was obviously Holland going home and Holland, Veghorst, he's still a Burnley player. Um, so Veghorst will be back at Burnley, you would presume, pretty soon now, probably not Monday. Um, but yeah, I think we all know it's going to be a case of walking through the door saying, I don't really want to play here anymore. Let's let's arrange something. As all the noise has been, obviously Ajax are interested, Roma are interested, FC20 are interested. So it's going to be one of them situations where We'll find out what's happening with Vegos now, sooner rather than later. Now the fact that Holland have been dumped out of the Euros thanks to a brilliant late finish from Ollie Watkins. Um, but the reason why I'm bringing that up is Scott Parker recently spoke about him. Now, if you follow us on Twitter, you would have seen this a couple of days ago, but I think it's relevant now to mention on the show because of the Holland exit yesterday. Um, but speaking on Veghorst... Scott Parker said, I haven't spoke to him yet. He's obviously away in the Euros and the last thing I'd want to do is bother him in any way. He's got a big game and bigger things to focus on, but he's a player I'm familiar with. He's our player and I'm looking forward to meeting him once the Euros are done with. Interesting there. He says, I'm looking forward to meeting him. So like I said, he will be coming back to Barnfield. It could have been one of them players that just refused to come back. There's been a few of them in the past, a few of them at the present potentially as well. Um, but he said that, that, that bit about meeting him, so that's interesting. So he's obviously going to talk to him and see where his head's at, not necessarily convince him to stay with Burnley, I think that's what I'm taking from that, but just see where his head's at, get, get it from him, <coughs> excuse me, get it from him rather than just picking it up through his agent and, and through the press and stuff like that. Um, but when he carried on, he did say... Um, well, he didn't say anything else, actually. It's just um, the Berlin Express said, when he was asked um, if he wants Veghorst to be knocked out at the semi-final stage, Parker, a former international... Uh, sorry, inter England international said, it might help. Um, so, yeah, Scott Parker got his wish on that one. But interesting in terms of Veghorst, um, Scott Parker obviously says if he's a player he's familiar with, and it sounds to me like Parker's just going to have a chat with him, see where his head's at, see if he wants to stay at Burnley. I mean, we know he doesn't, or probably doesn't. Uh, but I think, as we've said a million times, it's probably in the interest of all parties now with the fact that he's in the last year of his contract to complete a sale and let's get some money back for him now. Not another loan, not another loan. Get a sale done, get him out, reinvest the money. I've said a million times, I do think he'll be good in the championship, but at the same time, I think, yeah, it's pretty obvious he do not want to be here. The majority of fan base doesn't want him here. Whether you think that's right or wrong, these are the facts. And yeah, I think, I think the best interest in every single party... Um, now would be to just just get rid, draw a line in the sand, 
get it done with. Off you pop. Thanks for nothing. Um, but yeah, that's it. Like I said, not much out there at the minute. Still expecting Perez to be announced anytime. I'm recording this now at quarter past four on Thursday. I've left it late again because there wasn't much around. And also I'm, I'm wary that tomorrow's is going to be later as well. Tomorrow's will be later because I'm working over in Manchester for 12 hours. Won't get home till about 9pm tomorrow. So I'll probably do it and get it up around 10pm tomorrow night. Fingers crossed. Um, so if that's just going to be a bit rubbish for you that time, fair enough. I do apologise. But... Um, it'll be there Saturday morning for you for you to watch. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, especially about the new shirt. I'm keen to get people's interest on the new shirt. I, I quite like it and I'm looking forward to, to buying it. It's available now on the website. Again, the club don't tell me to say this, um, but I'm just letting you guys all know that it is available on the website. I don't think it's available in the club shop yet. Might be wrong. I don't think it is, but... Um, I'll probably buy it tonight actually I'll probably buy myself and my little lad one tonight just sat here whinged about the price and then I'll do it anyway classic me um, but yeah let me know what you think in the comments below about the shirt and let me know what you think about Veg Horse as well because I did put a bit of a cheeky picture up yesterday on Facebook and Twitter of him crying after the game and I did get a bit of stick for it I mean a lot of not stick just a bit of fun I didn't mean any harm in it but it is what it is uh, but yeah do you want to keep him do you want to ship him off let me know what you think in the comments below and again we will be back tomorrow but it won't be till very very late Oh,